Active campaign spam bots. In this video, we're going to talk about how to prevent those nasty things from occurring to your active campaign account. And what I'm going to show you applies to pretty much all email providers. However, we're going to do this for active campaign. Now, the challenge is you don't want to alienate people, legitimate people that are signing up. And Active Campaign's got three recommendations here, kind of in, in terms of which is the most efficient to the least efficient. So the first recommendation is add a captcha to all forms. Yes, great, that will do the job. The downside, you're likely to have much lower conversions as a result. Have you ever done a captcha that you've enjoyed or have got stuck in? Well, that's problematic. The next option is add confirm double opt-in to your forms. Now again, this can hurt conversions, but honestly, not necessarily a bad thing if you're looking to get legitimate real people on there. However, this isn't perfect. The downside on this one is that bots can submit email addresses of legitimate people. Now guess what? If those people get your emails, what are they gonna think? Oh, great, spam. They're gonna hit the spam button. That does not help your deliverability. You don't want that to happen. The third one, and in theory the least uh, reliable, is add a hidden form to your form, a hidden field to your form. And the theory is if the bot fills that out, then, well, if it fills out that, form, that field, you know it's a bot. Um, then you have an automation that automatically unsubscribes them that, for anyone that's filled out that hidden field. Now, the downside is bots are getting smarter, and a lot of times they will not fill out a hidden field if it's empty. So what do you do? Instead of using a hidden field, use a text field and then hide it using CSS. So let's dive right in. Now, what we wanna do here is a couple things. Um, and let me back up and tell you, there's some assumptions here. One, you know how to edit some HTML or the service that's serving up your web form uh, has the capability of being edited and you know how to go in there and change the code so that you can hide something. Now I'm gonna do it kind of uh, old fashioned way, but it has to be done eventually. Now inside your active campaign account, you wanna create a custom field. Now I've already done this one. So under, let's go to lists. Oh, there it is, manage fields. You wanna create a custom field that's the whole purpose is simply for the bot. I've created one called favorite color and it's a text input. Text input is important here because we want it to be visible, but we are going to hide it. Does, we do not want a hidden field. And then inside your form, you're gonna to wanna to add that field. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm gonna add that field right wherever I want, but I am going to hide it eventually. Now for this one, I don't want double opt-in. That's, I kind of want to skip that idea. So I'm going to make sure this is off. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to take this code and embed it on my site. Now let's be honest, it's not going to be super pretty. Um, and that's why you might be using something else to present your opt-in forms, but I want to show you how. So I'm going to just paste that in. I'm going to save it. And there it is. And again, what I'm gonna show you, um, uh, kind of in test mode, if you will, and you're gonna to need to figure out how to implement this on whatever uh, service you're using to display your form. So I am simply going to inspect this, and I need to add a little inline CSS. Again, there's multiple ways to accomplish this, whoops. So I wanna add some inline CSS. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and I hit return. Notice how it disappeared. I wanna get rid of this favorite colored label too. So I'm also going to add some code. Come on. So there, the only two fields showing up for me anyways are full name and email, but not favorite color. A bot on the other hand are, is going to see three text fields that it's gonna to wanna to fill out. So that's one thing. Second thing is inside my active campaign account, I wanna create an automation and I've already started and actually did this, but I do need to make some changes to it. And I wanna trigger it. Um, we can trigger it when the contacts field favorite color changes. And then we actually have to do a test. So I'm gonna actually go in here and I put this five minute wait just kind of so we can watch how things work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a conditional check 
and I want to go to custom contact fields, favorite color, and I want to say greater than empty. So in other words, if it has something in it, then go down the yes path. If it doesn't, well, just in the automation. So the way I've got this set up, it's just a one-time deal. Whenever the field that's called favorite color changes ever, run it the first time, the contact is added or updated. And then I've got to wait for five minutes just so we can watch and see what happens here. And then we check, is the favorite field greater than empty? If it is, let's unsubscribe. The assumption is that that's a bot. So let's go fill this out. And again, I'm not filling in my favorite color. And I'm going to submit that. All right. So now let's go find that contact and see where they are in this automation, assuming they've got had it. So notice no favorite color because I didn't do it, specify it. I'm on a list and I'm in an automation. So let's go view that automation. Now, if everything works properly, I should go down the no path. So instead of waiting for five minutes, let's just skip this and see what happens. Great, I did not get unsubscribed because I don't have a favorite color. That's how you can help block spam bots for ActiveCampaign.